What's up, everybody? It's your boy Mark back with another video, man. Got a new project alert. Then I, uh, show y'all my new project I'm working on out here in the garage. I almost forgot to start recording. But yeah, got a new project, y'all. As y'all already seen from the title, we got a 1982 Monte Carlo. I don't know. 1982 Monte Carlo, all original. Get that out of the way. All original, 82 Monte Carlo. With the original V8, I think it's a 4.4 liter. Yeah, 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 4.4 liter. You know, you know me. Got to swap it out. Gonna put that 5.3 with the 4L60. Uh, when I get around to it, it'll probably it'll be before the spring though. Interior kind of ratty, but hey, I already got somebody I know gonna do it. But yeah, I, I'm gonna come with that. I you know I gotta get that uh, Dakota Digital. But yeah, not bad, you know. It'll start up too. Let me see. I got I gotta pump the gas. When I first bought it, it had a knocking noise, but I already knew what it was, a rattling noise. I knew either the flywheel or the torque converter, and the torque converter bolts was loose. Yeah, that's coming out of here. Yeah, all before I forget, if you ain't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and subscribe. If you already subscribed, go ahead and like the video and share it, comment if you want to. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the motherfucker. I mean, excuse me. Subscribe to the channel, y'all. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers, man. Help me out. Help me out, y'all. But yeah, anyway, <clears throat> like I say, all original MC82. I got to I gotta get in the, uh, buy new locks because the key gave me for this mug ain't the key. Ooh, see all that smoke? Yeah, this mug was smoking like a champ. All original Monte Carlo. Like I said, it had a quarter top on it. They took it off. I'm gonna leave it all. Go ahead and send all this stuff down. Finish taking this off. Other than that, it's clean. You know, it got a little hell dents in it and all that stuff. You know, watch my spray wave video on how to fix that. You know, I got the little hell then send it up here. Oh, I didn't see that crack in the windshield. I need a new windshield. I got two 12s and an amp already brand new in the box. That ain't never been out the boxes that I can use for this. I'm already finna order this right here. All uh, brand new, all of this. You know. Let me see the door one. The door one look pretty good. Oh shit. Nah, that's kinda rotted, so I'ma I'm gonna order that too. It's a door shut flush. All that. But yeah, I already been working on it too, man. I wanna say it's my project. I already been getting it ready. As y'all see I got the little little twenty foes right there. Some I had laying around. I want to put some uh some 4Gs or something on this joint. I will eventually though. Well yeah, let me show y'all what I've been working on, man. <coughs> Boom. Frame notch. My first time ever doing a frame notch, y'all. Yeah. I don't think I did too bad, man, for my first time ever. I was out here bored and just was like, man, let me eat. well. Actually, I did the front first. I tried the front to see how the front looked. You know, I watched a bunch of videos. Mainly my guy from uh, Bet It Up Customs. I always watch his videos about frame notching and all that. But I watched a couple videos. His was the main one. 
It was a couple. I can't remember the other people I watched, but I just watched their videos and how they did it. And I said, well, shit, let me come out here and tackle it. Let me open this garage and cut my fan on. Uh, uh, who else I watch? Oh, Mr. Get in there. Watch him too. Like he said, you buy you a pack of blades and about, eh, I bought like two, three grinding wheels. I ain't used them all though. Man, shit. Pack of blades? I ain't even use all the blades neither though. But what I did was, I started right here, which I probably could have evened that out a little bit better, but it's cool like that because I can still get in there and weld that motherfucker right there. Excuse my language. You know? What I did was I got up underneath the bottom first. Excuse me, y'all. And I followed the seam all the way down. All the way down. I followed the seam until I got there. Where my mark was, where I measured the wheel was, you know, in between. And then I cut it, then I stopped, boom, and then I cut it there. Then I angled the grinder down like this. Look, if you can see my hand, I angled the grinder down like this, and then cut along the edge of the thing, of, the, of this piece of metal. And then after that, I just went in like this from the bottom and cut along, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Cut along like that. I had to be careful. Well, eventually I did hit my gas line, but uh, that, it was something, a vapor or something, it was one of the lines. But, but yeah, that's what I did though. Then after I got it out, I, uh, I cut it off. I cut the piece of metal. The little edge that I had from the seam, coming off the seam was about like that thick and it was about like that back there and then it came down. But all I did was cut that out flat to the back of this, make sure this was flat on the back, on the top. And then I just started putting it up here and placed it where I wanted. And then started grinding, shaping it to where it set pretty flush on this mug how I wanted it. And I just started tacking it. You know, I had to make me a couple patches because my cuts was kind of fucked up. Excuse my language. But, but yeah, you know, hey, for my first time, it's pretty good, man. I, I, I'm proud of myself. With my little Harbor Freight welder, too, y'all. Yeah, with my Harbor Freight welder. Hey, one thing I learned from my, anybody on, on, on the internet welding, hey, they can look like crap, but you can grind them down and smooth them out, make them look like a chimp, and everything is smooth. You see, I can rub my hand all the way across it, no problem. So look at that, no problem. Everything is smooth. See that? Rub my hand, even on the bottom right here, look. See how I rub my hand, no problem. Ain't ouch, nothing, didn't stop. Yeah, everything is smooth. So yeah. Oh, let me show y'all the front real quick. If I can get my hand, get it in there, if I can get a peek in there, I see the front. Right there, let me stick this phone in there. Look at the, front. the only difference with the front is I actually bought some metal to put in right there. I went and bought some metal to put in right there. Made some patches. With the front smooth too, y'all. I did the front the same way, smoothed everything out. Both. As y'all can see, it's clear and then I got the wheel cocked too. So See what I'm saying? It's turned in and it's clear. So yeah, that's my little update, man. My little new project I'm gonna do real quick. I think I'm gonna go ahead, cause I had this panoramic roof out of a Mini Cooper. I was gonna put it in my station wagon. But I think I might just go ahead and slap that joint in there. Slap it in the money. That's what I think I might do. So yeah, stay tuned for all that though. But this is your boy Mark, man. Once again, hey, if you ain't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and like the video, share, comment. Like I said, I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. Help your boy out, man. And once again, man, as always, keep it pushing.